Hello. My name's Emma and thank you for joining me today for the first episode of DIY, as in why the f*** would I want to make that? And today we will be making a Monster Energy candle because I love Monster Energy and I hate load shedding. So, um, so let's get on with the DIY Monster Energy candle. Okay, um, I feel like I just need to mention that I'm not a professional. I've never made a candle before. So this isn't a tutorial. This is like a watch me as I f*** this up kind of thing. So let me show you what materials we're going to use for this. Bowl to wax, I mean, to melt the wax. Monster Energy. I kind of forgot how tall it is, so I hope we, I mean, I think we will have enough wax, but like, yee. Four casual lights. And I like these ones because they are odorless, I believe. Yeah, they're odorless. And I wanted to get a long one because I don't know how to make a wick. I honestly don't know what the difference is between a wick and a piece of string, but I don't really want to find out. So I'm just going to reuse one of these wicks. Wax crayons for coloring. And I want to make it the, the green of like the M. So they're actually two greens, but this is too dark. So... That one, but I might have to add in a little bit of yellow just to get that extra like lime green headache inducing color. So I'm going to be using these two. So first things first, let's open up this bad boy. I'm going to do it right in front of you so we can share this moment together. That is right at the brim. I've messed. Okay, I'm gonna go wash this out. I'm gonna go rinse it with some water and get a cloth and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back and I've rinsed out the can. Um, I forgot to say you need scissors for this part. So danger warning. This when it's cut, can be very pricky, sharp, dangerous. I don't even know how I would like begin to do this. Oh, oh. Um. Also, don't mind this. Um, I'm just a little bit of a bad bitch because I burnt myself the other day and it, it was really gnarly for like the first 24 hours then it was quite chill after that okay so this is what we've got now if you see like at the top there's still a little bit of a bend so I think I'm just gonna bend it inwards like that ow I still don't know why it's that color. I debated making it the same color so it looks like the monster's in there, but like, it's an ugly color. Okay, so, I mean, it's not, I don't love, I'm not in love with this edge, but it'll have to do, um, because it's, at least you won't cut yourself on it, you know? So this is going to be the, um, candle holder. Yup. Um, so that part is done now, so we can, we're over with that. Now, the second part is to, I'm going to cut the wax into little, little bitties, so it's easier to melt them. I'm going to start with one, and I don't know how I'm going to cut it so that I can salvage the wick. And I thought it would be like held by something at the bottom, like a little metal thing but it's not it's literally just like a piece of string 
So I don't know how I'm going to keep it all the way at the bottom of this can. Probably have to like tape it there or something. Oh, it's literally flaking everywhere. Oh, I peeled that off so nicely. It has like layers. It's literally coming off like, like onion layers. That is so strange. Also, um, I forgot to say that um, because these candles are odorless, I'm going to be using an essential oil to scent them um, because apparently we're those people. I just really like the smell, you know? Like, I don't believe that it'll heal me or anything, but the smell's really nice. It smells like, um, like those really nice... Um, face creams that your mom has from like some boutique store you know not that i mean i don't know much about skincare but i heard it's not you're not supposed to use scented skincare but like it just smells really nice so um that's what i'm gonna be scenting it with i don't know how much i'm gonna use i don't even know if it's gonna work see look there's like this tiny little this little guy that's left over Maybe it's stronger in the middle, I don't know. I'll cut the wick. Good thing we have three more, am I right? Hello again. My battery on my camera ran out. Um, I don't tell my dad, but I don't know where the other one is. So. I'm filming on my phone now um but it's cool and now you've got a really nice view of the chop Love. oh nice maybe that's just how i should break it like just make a little incision and then very nice Okay, so I'm just going to put this in the glass bowl. You're leaning on it, so you won't be able to see it. But I will see you after I've done that. I think I'm going to do another two full candles. This is way more time consuming than I thought it was. And we have load shedding in like 40 minutes or so, so. One times intact wick. Thank you very much. Put that to the side. Second intact wick. Thank you very much. Now that that is done, I'm going to scrape this off and then we're going to do the crayon. Now we're going to deal with these bad boys. I think I'm going to, I'm going to slice them as thin as possible. So I want to add it little by little because I'm not sure how far this color will go. This is like quite a nice color, but it's a little bit darker. So I'm going to add in a tiny little bit of yellow. Okay, that is the crayons done. So what I'm going to do is I've got this bowl of wax and I'm going to put it over a pot of heated water and just kind of stir it until it's done and add the little bits of color and see how it goes. My parents have friends over and the kitchen is very noisy, so I'm probably just going to do a time lapse. Hello, this is me in my kitchen. I'm doing an audio recording for my earphones, so let's see how it goes. Now I'm looking for a pot to boil the wax in. Too big! I probably should have cut this part out, but this is me looking for another pot that will be probably a better fit. Nice! 
So now I've boiled some water in the kettle and I'm just going to switch the stove on and put it in before I put the bowl in just to make sure it um, is heated up quickly. Forgot the wick in my room. I'm stirring it periodically but it really isn't melting that fast so I can just leave it for a bit I think. You can't forget the monster babes. Mom and dad came to say hi and at this point it was looking something like this. Then I added some green crayon and the tiniest bit of yellow one just for the colour. Now we're seeing some progress and a little colour match. It's looking really good. I tried off camera to place the wick but I couldn't so I just asked my mom to help me and she did a really good job. Um, this is the setup, really cool, I was really happy with it. When it was all done we poured it into the can and when she finished I realised there was only three quarters of the way full and I was not happy. It's the next morning and I had a bit of a freak out last night because when we poured it in, it, it only filled about three quarters. I realized I have to pour it all out before it hardens, remelt it with the fourth candle and then pour it all back in. And the wick had fallen in, the peg fell in, everything. So I just remelted everything with the fourth candle and the electricity was out. It is still about three quarters full. It goes up to here on the can. So I have to cut it. Um, and also, it's set like really strangely. Like there's a dip in there. I don't know, maybe I should have like wiggled it around as it was setting, because it literally goes like that. Um, and like if I light it, it's probably gonna melt and then drown the wick which is not what I want so I'm just gonna cut it down a little bit which sucks because I wanted the M so now I'm gonna have to cut some of it it's getting to the M That's good, right there. So I'm gonna make the little cuts again and fold it. Ooh, that hurt a little bit. I can't believe I'm losing the air, my goodness. But the nice thing is, as the candle runs out you can just keep cutting the container you know until it's right in like a little baby candle it is so skew it looks terrible let me cut the wick a little bit and see if we can light this bad boy up like it so this is the finished product um i think i would rate it i mean i haven't smelted yet like while it's burning i mean cost i would rate 10 out of 10 it was really cheap difficulty i'd say like six or seven out of ten you definitely have to have patience i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video overall i think was a good project. Thanks for joining guys.